In this video, I'm going to talk about how to list a directory. So to do this, first we're going to create a new Java class. And the uh, Java class is going to be called video uh, list a dir. And I'm going to add a public static void main here so we can run it directly. Um, first off, we're going to open up um, this current directory that we're in. So I'm in a, in a project called week eight and in our workspace, uh, you can see if I list out the contents, I have a bin folder, a class path file, a project file, a settings directory, an SRC folder, and a temp directory. Um, so we should see that when we list the directory out. So first off, I'm going to create a new path, which is a interface in Java NIO. Um, current paths, or let's actually call this um, working dir. So we're going to say paths.get system.get property, and there's a system property called user.dir, which is the current running uh, directory of the program. Um, the next thing I'm going to create is a directory stream. And directory stream implements iterable. So we're going to path in it, pass in a generic um, here of path, and we're going to get a list of paths out. First, I'm going to assign this to null, though, just as a placeholder, because this can fail. So we're going to wrap this entire thing in a try catch block. And I'm just going to put a generic exception in here. Um, and we are going to have it print out the message. Uh, so the way that we do this is we're going to say paths equals files dot new directory stream and files is a Java NIO uh, class that has lots of interesting static methods that take paths as arguments. So this will give us a new directory stream from the working directory. And obviously you would want to check if this exists before you do this, but in this case I already know this is going to exist. So for path in paths, uh, again, this is an iterable, so we're going to be able to loop over it. And I'm just going to print out the uh, absolute path. So we'll see the, the full uh, file name, and it should look um, similar to this because we know what is in this directory already. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this project. Um, right click and run as a Java application and there in our console you can see we got out the uh, absolute directory to um, or the absolute path to this directory and all the files inside of it and we can't tell if these are files um, or if they're folders yet so let's go ahead and do that let's look at the file attributes to do that so a basic file attribute is that's an interface and we can get that um, information from files dot read attributes this is just another um, nice static method on files so we're gonna say path and we actually have to put a class in here so we are going to use that same interface and that'll give us basic file attribute data um, I'm going to print out some of this stuff um, Let's just put an arrow here and say uh, the uh, is directory. So we, we can do, um, just for some more information, we can say is directory. And there is more information we can get here. So we can say, when was it created? And we'll say attributes dot create time. And that's a file time class, but it'll print out with two string to be formatted that we can read it. Um, we can also see if it's a file. Let's put that up above this. It'll probably either be a file or a directory in this case, but there are other options. You can have symlink and other. And a symlink is just a link 
it's not an actual file or a directory, it just points somewhere else. Um, is file, is regular file, let's try that. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, I'm gonna put a new line in here between these entries just so it's not too crowded. So let's see what happens. Okay, so on our output, we have a binary directory. It's not a file, it is a directory, and it was created not too long ago. So our workspace shows all of that information as well. Or sorry, our uh, file system, if we just do lsla, it shows us all of that. I have an alias in my shell so that when I type l, it does the same thing as lsla. Um, so that's listing a directory in Java, and uh, tune in next time for, I think we'll do recursive directory listing.